Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Just wanted to share with you guys a quick update on the geopolitical situation. Not sure if this is going to stay up as it seems that YouTube likes to take down uh, videos that we talk about uh, the news. So <laughs> as you can see, these were removed. U.S. forces come under attack and will the military be called on? Y yeah, so again, we'll s try to put this up and uh, it will be on Rumble, Brighty and a bit shoot, hopefully, as well as, of course, Patreon, um, where, again, we thank you guys for your support. We couldn't do it without your support on Patreon and also on Ko-Fi as well. So this is the thing that most people are buzzing about. Biden authorizes Ukraine to use U.S. supplied long range missiles for deeper strikes into Russia itself, easing limitations on the weapons. There were limitations in place. He's taking off the limitations, um, you know, not quite two weeks after the uh, elections. Uh, again, predictable? Yeah, I, I think it's predictable. For I've heard a lot of people say that, you know, this is what they expect. They would not be surprised at all. And, and it just seems to make sense that the outgoing administration would go ahead and, and do something that could potentially unleash hell on earth. Moscow comments on Biden's reported approval of strikes deep inside of Russia because, as you see here, Putin has warned that this would mean that we are at, at war with NATO. Uh, and in fact, Putin said, we will use nuclear weapons if a mass enemy missile or UAV is launched towards Russia or when these weapons cross into Russian territory. So, I mean, you cannot get any uh, dire and stark and definitive than that. Elon Musk has his opinion, too. As you see, the billionaire has joined other members of Donald Trump's circle in condemning the outgoing president's apparent move. SpaceX CEO Elon Musk, a close confidant of U.S. President Donald uh, Trump, has weighed in on President Joe Biden's apparent decision to officially sanction the use of American missiles on targets deep within Russian territory, agreeing with the Post stating, Libs love war. With just two months le left in office, Biden reportedly gave in to one of Ukraine's longstanding demands on Sunday afternoon, authorizing Kiev to use its American-provided Army tactical missile systems to strike on Russia's Kursk region. The decision was simultaneously reported by multiple U.S. media outlets. Ukraine plans to conduct its first long-range attacks in the coming days, Reuters reported, citing two U.S. officials and a source familiar with the decision. His, Biden's decision marks a significant escalation in the conflict, while Ukraine has possessed um, these missiles since April, the U.S. president did not at that time give Kiev permission to use them on internationally recognized Russian territory. To date, there have been, they have been used in strikes on Russians, Russia's Crimea, Donetsk, and Lugansk regions, which Washington considers Ukrainian. So respond, responding to the news on X. Utah Senator Mike Lee, a Republican, declared that libs love war, adding war facilitates bigger government. True, Elon Musk replied. So, you know, again, you can see this escalation. We also have Iran demanding trillions of dollars from the U.S., uh, saying Washington should have to pay for all the damage caused by decades of unilateral sanctions. So it does look like uh, things may be escalating uh, quickly. But again, we've seen this and then things have deflated. The difference is that you have that outgoing administration and you have the incoming administration uh, that, as far as looks go, uh, could not be any different. In reality, again, many people have awakened to the fact that the puppet masters hold all the cards and they are playing both sides. So, you know, again, this, this is something that so many people uh, have been expecting uh, just because it would be uh, perhaps the perfect card to be played when you are looking to create a new order out of chaos. This would definitely bring the world a lot of chaos. And then to throw this into the mix, New York judge is not ruling out four years jail time for Trump. 
New York judge could force Trump to live in a jail cell for the entire four years of his presidency. Since it's a state case, Trump does not have the power to pardon himself next year after he's sworn into office. Uh, yeah, as I've been saying since 2017, they want to create civil war you know, right before uh, they bring up World War III to fruition. And it looks like it could be happening. But then again, we've seen, uh, we've been knocking on that door so many times and things de-escalate. And, you know, timelines change again. I think it's a good idea to always be prepared. I do not believe there will be a full-scale nuclear war. Um, I do believe they might say there was some sort of limited nuclear exchange which may not very well be nuclear, as I don't think it will be nuclear, honestly. Or, again, when Trump first came into power, one of the things he did was get away, uh, abandon the treaty that limited how small nukes could be. How small. And you might say, well, that's weird. You know, why would they want to make smaller ones? Well, because it, it's about galactic treaties and getting around galactic treaties that will, you know, not allow them to make big ones. So, and then again, we have things like rods of God. We have all sorts of uh, energy weapons in play, as well as obviously weather warfare that just does not stop. Here you have a massive bomb cyclone set to explode off the U.S. West Coast with hurricane force winds, flooding rains, enormous mountain snows from a Category 5 atmospheric river. It's going to uh, drop 70 millibars of pressure in 24 hours, reaching about 942 millibars, which would be similar to a Category 4 hurricane. And by the way, the Philippines were hit with four typhoons in a matter of a couple weeks. So the flooding situation is ongoing. The catastrophic weather is ongoing. Um, and then uh, apparently the threat of WW3 is ongoing. This is why we absolutely keep trying to get across the understanding that you are spiritual beings having a temporary human experience. We do go on. Uh, the body is a vehicle. It's just that simple. The body is a vehicle. This is a temporary ride. And we are here to explore, learn, and grow. But at the same time, enjoy yourself as much as possible because you know again could it all be loose and things de-escalate absolutely it could certainly be loose and we might find ourselves having the same discussion to a degree a year from now uh, again it's all about the awakening of human consciousness and the understanding that we have been living in a very very dark system within a natural system that is truly made of light source bless and namaste